pandas. And so I want to talk today about a couple of things and the ways that New Panda is helping for you to get your word out, share your message in a social way. One of those is just a simple one. It's a setting of your links to, dis to specifically point to your Facebook page or your LinkedIn page, which I hope all of you have. And then if you have a Twitter page, which we'll talk about some other day, but if, if you do have one and you're doing well with it, great. Uh, and use that Twitter URL as well if you have one. All right, then we'll talk about autopilot social. And that means, yes, the ability for messages and content, all that we do for you through newsletters and templates and emails and mobile, we're going to also do via social, and we are, and we've had some amazing response there. Uh, we'll talk about a couple of our new autopilot options, which include a referral reminder and even a newsletter link. So many of you have asked to have your regular newsletters or those that you create on a custom basis added to uh, your Facebook, and we're going to show you that. It's a brand new feature in the app. We'll talk then about how you could send your very own message. If it's for a listing, one of our new listing tools, which could be, again, a, a car, a home, uh, a pizza, a job, uh, all types of different listings are now being added. And you can link those uh, to your social networks. And also, we'll show you the Facebook page setup services that we do. And that's a pretty neat one because we're now working with agents who want us to help them take advantage of things like the new timeline. So I'm really excited to have that be a part of our uh, discussion as well. First of all, let's talk about uh, setting up your social network links. These are just specific URLs. So there are a couple of ways that you're going to integrate your social. This is the, these are the links that will create those little icons that you might have seen on the emails that go out, or if you open up your e-stationery or one of your business templates, you'll see that there's often your logo or your photo, and then a little link for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. That's where you or your business can post your uh, URLs for those, and that then also automatically points folks from these different uh, messages that we deliver for you. So I'm going to jump into the new Panda app, and as you can see, I'm in a small version. I'm going to zoom this up a little bit. And what I did to get here is I clicked on the settings link at the top right. I then clicked under the tab, specifically over here, social networks. And that is a, a two-section area. The first are the links, and that's what we're talking about. And if I want to add my own Facebook link, now this is the one that for my business or my personal consulting service or my uh, shop, I want to put the link that's going to be most appropriate when I send out an uh, autopilot birthday e-card, for example, and I want folks to come to me. If I'm on Facebook, by the way, um, one way to get this URL, if you don't know it, uh, you can see here that often, if you have a Facebook page, right, you have had the ability through that page to set up a personal domain. And the personal domain is this little part right after Facebook.com. In this case, it's UNICEF. So this whole URL would be your address. My point is you'll want to be sure that you get that one right, and you go to Facebook, and you set up that specific account, and that you paste it right here as your Twitter, sorry, Facebook, Twitter, and, and LinkedIn addresses. You don't have to have them there, and if you don't, no problem. Uh, add them when you can. Now, for your sending social networks. This gets a little more complicated, but I'm going to try to make this a lot easier. We have to authenticate, set up an official connection to Facebook and to Twitter and to LinkedIn in order to then deliver messages to your account on your behalf. So we need you to set each of these up uh, officially with us, and I'm going to show you how it happens. You'll notice I've already added a couple of Twitter accounts, and by the way, What's really great about this is you can add unlimited accounts. So I have, uh, I might have two or three different accounts on Facebook. One might be for my Portales, New Mexico, things to do uh, page that I created, and the other might be for my uh, business. The other might be my pizza shop, and the other might be my real estate career. You never know. So uh, those are the ways that you'll set up as many networks as you like. I'm going to click manage social networks. So that's going to now take us to the ability to add another network. And you noticed I hadn't, uh, in this account, added Facebook yet. So with Facebook, there are our personal profiles. 
right? Meaning there's the profile that we each have. It's the personal account that's just for us. And in many industries, remember, you got to be careful not to promote your business on your personal Facebook page, your personal profile. You need a Facebook page or what's now called a new Facebook page timeline that are all going live uh, very soon. So keep that in mind. With Facebook pages then, you'll simply click the connect with Facebook. By the way, I want to make sure you know I wasn't meaning uh, by saying that that you can't add your personal profile. You for sure can and you'll want to add the right ones, right, that you'll want to make sure are um, available uh, and that have more personal content. We're going to show you how what types of ch channels or content we have. All right, but I want to add one. All right, so I'm going to, what I've done basically is this has already authenticated my Facebook. I'm going to first, just to show you, I'm, I happen to be already authenticated. So it's now added the Facebook user, Bob Worley. Um, you know what happens here. Sometimes if you hadn't already authenticated, It'll pop up a little window. It'll confirm that you're logged into the right account, and then it will ask you uh, to please authenticate which account you'd like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one here, and I'm going to load and make sure for Nuply that I have uh, that account set up. And I'm also going to go ahead and add New Panda Real Estate Edition, that specific Facebook page. So once I've added that, you see that it's spinning and those are now added and you'll see them at the bottom of the social networks. I have a Facebook now for my profile. I have two pages, one for Nuclee and one for New Panda Real Estate Edition. So that's it. This page, by the way, it's one of those new pages we have where there's no save button. I know some of you have found that a little confusing because some of the newer technologies are trying to are making it easier for you to take these types of actions. All right, if we go back to settings then and we look just to confirm on this social networks tab, here you'll see now I have my Facebook profile, my Facebook page, and my Facebook a New Panda Real Estate Edition page. All right, um, from this place then, of course, now this is an example where you'll still want to save. We're adding them one, you know, one uh, page at a time. So now my uh, links and my social network accounts are set up. All right, what I'd like to talk about now really quick are the really exciting new developments we're doing with Autopilot. I'm going to start from the beginning with a preface that our job and our work and our marketing tools are never meant to be a replacement of the work that you have to do for social networking, and they're never meant to be the only thing that's posted to your Facebook page, Facebook timelines. Uh, it's meant to be a supplement and something that you can have automatically added in great content to your page based on different channels that we are creating. And I'll show you an example. This is actually an email from us. So uh, let me explain this a little bit. Every time we, New Panda, creates postable content that we're going to add to your sites, we always notify you in advance. We always give you the content that we're going to post. And you always have the ability to then click a link, log into the app, and, and delete that post if you don't like the content or quality of that post, or tweak the header or even tweak the comment. So if we look at this in a little more detail, you can see that this is a, a sort of a schedule of ours. And in this schedule, we're posting on March 27th at 4.32, because we do vary the times, right, to make them in the most effective time frames, uh, a post for general interest, okay? This means that it can be used by anyone, uh, and it's going to, it's a channel you can turn on. It's not just to industry specific. Uh, and it's a clever way to display kids' artwork, right? It's coming from a good source called Real Simple. It's got a, a, a great description here, but you this comment is the comment that you might write, and it says, what a great idea, create a special place to display your kids' artwork, and it won't break the bank. Now, if you want to change that, you could, and you could say something more to the effect of, my kid's room is a total mess, I wish it could look like this, right? And that would be 
real personal and real appropriate. We won't go that far <laughs> in terms of writing these comments for you, but this is one you have a great opportunity to tweak as you see these coming in. And then you'll notice that that was a Facebook post, and on Twitter and LinkedIn, we're going to take that same post and we're going to pass it as a tweet, and it's going to show up on your LinkedIn timeline. So a little less content. All of them, though, are linkable. So all of them have a short URL. You can see one right here, a Nuply, uh, that links to an online page. And I'm going to show you that, but I just wanted to sort of give you an overview. Different channels have different content. Here's an industry-specific one for real estate headlines. Now, if you're in the floral business or you are in the, our new auto channel, you probably wouldn't turn on real estate headlines. You'd be turning on our auto content, right? So that's how it works. And in this example, also, there's holidays and events. I want to make sure that all of you know that no matter what your business, you have the ability to turn on channels, and many of them are more, again, general interest. Holidays and events is a good example. And it's not just the you know, 12 or 10, five major holidays through the year. We'll even do some fun things uh, throughout the year. We just had a St. Patrick's post. Here was a happy April Fool's Day post. Uh, these are, again, things that help to engage your uh, users and those who are seeing your streams. I want to make sure you also remember the ways that consumers will see you. Now, I'm on a page right now, and I'm logged into my account, all right? And you can see that, and I hope, I'm assuming all of you can see this over on the right, and you probably, let me see if I can zoom in, but you probably also know that this is a ticker. This is an ongoing list here to the right of new content that is being posted. It might just be that somebody unlocked a newbie on Foursquare, or that someone was tagged in a photo, or that someone likes someone else's status, uh, et cetera. But it'll also bring, and here's one for Forge, um, about Kentucky startups. So this is a, a business, a page, and they're posting a, a content post. So there are some great ways for you to add content. And I just want to make sure you know, you have eyeballs out there. It's all about getting and making sure you're there. I'm not suggesting that you um, inundate folks with Facebook posts, because Facebook also does a pretty good job of, of narrowing that as well. But I am suggesting that you keep in mind that a daily touch is not over um, over exposure into your brand. And that's because uh, They'll, they're subtle. They'll be seen in things like the feed and the news feed, and that's really where we'll want to. And of course, you know when I say that, I mean the news feed on the right, which is a ticker. And if I also go to home, I can see that someone who's a friend of mine has posted a picture about a bacon cake. You never know. And then all kinds of different things. And here are a couple of business examples. This is where you would fall. I'm, you know, only three of the latest statuses down, and I can see Forge, the business, and I can see Mashable, who I know many of you know. And then I can see what my friends are doing. And right in between, and you know, mixed with that content is then additional. So the fun for the arts is a business page. And it's also here. So keep that in mind, because this is um, these are some of the ways that we're going to be able to, to share and see content. Now, when I go to the app, I want to show you where you will then get those social autopilot posts. Let me also say one thing. This week has been a great experience for us and those of you that I know have attended live. And you may be watching this video now uh, after the fact. But I do want to emphasize that we have a lot of partnerships, a lot of enterprise partners, and they include franchises and brokerage firms and real estate uh, firms around the country, and many of those do provide an enterprise level to their staff or to their locations or to their agents, which is a wonderful uh, uh, and, and significant marketing commitment that they're making. This feature um, is, may or may not be included in that. We offer all of our email tools typically through those partnerships. This is one that might be extra. And by the way, FYI, if it is extra in your case, it's 10 bucks a month uh, for the whole social features. And I'm going to go to Send Your Messages and now click Autopilot Settings. Now what this will do 
is it'll bring me to a master page. And if you've seen our webinar or we're at our webinar for email holiday autopilot, you might have seen that you can send e-cards by email, autopilot, they'll go every year, all branded to you. You can automatically remember people on their birthday and their home anniversary. And now I want to get down to the social autopilot channel. If you, by the way, don't see these options, you might see a link that encourages you to sign up and that'll take you to our shopping cart. You can buy it and be up and running in moments. So now this layout frustrates me a little bit. Let me show you how it works. Um, here's my account, right? And I'm logged in and I have multiple channels that I can choose from. One is a real estate headline. One is a US holiday and event channel. The other is the monthly real estate newsletter posting channel. Okay, I have to do two things. I have to turn the channel on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to referral request. All right, and I'm going to open that referral request. I'm turning it on now. Right, it wasn't on before. So now that it's on, I want to make sure that now I can uh, choose the specific social networks that are going to apply to that. So social networks will be the ones, remember how we set them up uh, earlier, and we did that via uh, the settings at the top. Now that they're there, and I've turned on the referral request, I want that to go to my Facebook profile. I'm thinking that might be a subtle, it's, it's once a month. So I'm going to put that one on my, on my personal. And then I'm also going to put it on this Facebook page, New Panda Real Estate Edition. So that could be your page or your business page. So they literally are now on. This is an example, no submit button anywhere or save button. But I've turned on the channel referral request and I've turned on these networks. And I'd also will go ahead and like it to go to my uh, LinkedIn account, right, and maybe a Twitter account of mine. Same idea. Uh, this is an edition that happens to be in the real estate edition. So you may not see this headline option if you aren't in that edition. But you have the ability then. What this includes, and I'll show you some examples, are timely, relevant articles and posts about what's happening in the industry. And it gives you the ability to turn on auto ch pilot channels for real estate headlines. Same with US holidays and events. And the same with the monthly real estate newsletter posting. This is new. And for those of you who are with one of our editions where you have a e-newsletter product, often again being brought to you by one of our partners or an enterprise company, uh, this is the feature that allows you to have your newsletter every month when it gets sent by email. It will also now, yay, get posted to your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn. Many of you have been asking for this one and looking uh, for this for a while. So I'm glad that you've got that. So those are some of the important details of setting those up. I want to show you some real live examples now of how folks are using uh, this. This is a page, and this is some good friends of ours uh, from Omaha, Nebraska. It's the Wainer uh, family and the Wainer family of realtors. And what they do on their page is they have added a lot of good content. So they have uh, individual, yeah, by the way, um, I happen to be in an office that's right above uh, the garage that's being constructed on its ceiling. Sorry about the noise. Uh, so anyway, it has this great content that they've posted about homes, about land that they have. But let me show you where we come in. The top post right now happens to be buyers want it all. Here are five ways you can embrace your home's appeal. And this is five ways for sellers to lure more buyers. It's an article from realtor.org. When a reader sees this, again, it's going to appear over here on the ticker, on their home page when they log in, on their phone. But all of your eyeballs will get to see this for your fan page or your timeline and can click it. And once it's been clicked, they're going to go to that specific article on, in this case, Realtor.org. Now, some of them are Realtor Mag. In some of cases, we actually uh, use a, a system where we will either link to a third party or sometimes we have content that we'll post within ours. Now, a new channel here. This is coming from the holiday and event channel. So remember earlier we saw how we could turn that on. This is St. Patrick's Day. What's your favorite Irish dish? 
and then you need some inspiration. Here's wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Another couple from spring cleaning, right? So that's one of, one of the general posts. Another house that they've added. And then another example of, uh, in this case, a real estate headline. It's from a blog, which provides a great level of service. And the KCM blog is the best in the industry. But here's what I want to show you. When you do click on this blog uh, link, we can now take the caller, sorry, the, the reader to a page, I know where it is, that is of that blog article, but also branded to you. So we've dropped in Kristen's content, her, her sub, or what's this called, her quote, uh, slogan, thank you, and the phone number, and links to her Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn right from this page. So now I would go to Kristen's Twitter account. And by the way, here's Kristen's Twitter account. And you can see that we also help to add content there. Kristen added a new price update. We added a St. Patrick's Day and a buyer's update. Does this make sense? Sound good for those of you are, who are on? Al is asking about cutting and pasting. And for sure, uh, you can do that when you're creating. And that's our next step is to talk about uh, how we can do that. There's one other big announcement that I wanted to add to this discussion. And it's going to take me just a moment to grab it. But it's uh, one of a new brand, a brand new channel, and it's called the Referral Channel. And what we'll be doing is we'll be posting those to our, uh, to our posts for Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And the great thing that then happens is when that post comes up, you're going to see, like magic, somewhere happening about right now, you're going to see this post. Let me drag this over just a second and see if I can get this uh, so you can see it. Bear with me. Here we go. Here's a post, and it's for referrals. And I mentioned the monthly referral reminder. So now what we're doing is we're adding these posts so that they can also share some really great statistics. And this is in the form of an infographic. So what it means is you have a business. And whatever the business is, we know that our two best ways to make money in business, typically, or for our nonprofits to get members and donors, is to find those repeat sales, find the people who we already know, and also help to get them to refer us, them to bring a friend, them to call and ask for a donor. Right. So here is an infographic that talks specifically about the fact that 41.4% uh, of businesses count on referrals. It's informational. It's stuff that you can share. But it's actually you're sharing it with your customers. And it even gives tips that they could use for their business or their PTA or their organization or their church. So there's some great content here. Does that make sense? And I hope that's a cool. That's what we're going to do. Once a month, there will be a helpful, informative referral piece. Uh, so keep an eye out for that as well. All right, let's go back to the app. And here's what I want to talk about next. And that is, we've talked a lot about autopilots, a lot about setting up your Facebook and your accounts. You have the ability now to receive those emails from us and have auto content coming to your account. You also always have the ability to create a new message. Now, this is what you often do for emails, right? So I'm going to make this message about, um, let's say I'm going to make it about uh, the upcoming events. Okay, and I want to do that because I have a store that's right on Main Street of my small town, and I want to make sure they know about some of the things happening. Maybe it's even Small Business Saturday I want to promote, right? And then I want to customize a template. This is still, I'm working towards the social post. What you'll see now, a lot of custom industry additions, right? So if I wanted it to be auto-related or education-related or food and beverage or real estate, I have a lot of choices now where I can choose, even in all-purpose way, these different designs, these different ideas, even things that are pre-written for us. Let me show you something from our um, new education edition. These are pretty neat. Let's say that my private school is on the corner on Main Street, right? And I want to add something. What I might do is I might talk or make it like an event invite. Okay? And then, and by the way, you want to check through these because a lot of these are ones that apply to a lot of, could apply to any type of business, right? So this one, which is sort of a neat design, uh, could be used to talk about that event that's going to happen 
where, when, in the RSVP, and all of your content will automatically be added to the bottom. And it gets integrated, right? So it has your links. Um, and e this email button will automatically take them to your email address or to your contact me form. You have the ability to call this the main street, uh, small biz fair, right? And then you have the ability to also save that and continue. What you've basically made now is what we call a new Panda page. So you've created a page. Now you could email this, you know that, right? A lot of you are using that already. But you could also, forget about emailing right now, you want to get it out right now to your mobile audience. Be sure to be on our session tomorrow if you're on live. It's on Friday, and if not, look, look for the webinars, for the recorded ones with our mobile features. But right now we're talking about social, and I'm going to click Create Social Message, and this is how I can promote a specific event that I want to get out. So I don't have an example of this particular Main Street uh, example, but what I'm going to show you is this. You'll choose the networks where you want your post to go. So I wanted to go to my Facebook profile, and I wanted to go to the New Panda real estate page. And I wanted to go to my Twitter account, and I wanted to go to LinkedIn, all of them. Then I want to create the content. Now this is a comment, okay? And I'm going to just say we can't wait for Saturday's big day, okay? And then I'm going to choose advanced Facebook options. Now, um, let me show you one other thing first. Let's say this is just a tweet, though. At any time, remember we just created a page. I can click a link, and it's going to create a short URL in this message that's going to go on all of these networks. Okay, so that could automatically just be your tweet or your LinkedIn status. You also have the ability to add advanced Facebook options, and we're going to cover these in more detail when we have a specific Facebook dedicated webinar, which is coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. Also talking about the timeline and how these features work. If you're interested in adding you know, everything down to the little photo, the headline, the caption, and the subhead, just like we do, you've got the options already to do that. If you want to just send this to those networks that you have, you can. And remember, with every type of message we offer, email, mobile, social, you can always send it now, keep it as a draft, or even schedule delivery for some time in the future. So let's leave the email alone for now, but let's schedule the social post for, say, Friday at 8 a.m. because it's close and timely to Saturday. Or if we're really excited, we're just going to click send now. Okay. So what will happen is now this message is going out all to all of the networks. It could be email, mobile, and or social. And it's going to then appear on these places. If I go back to Facebook and I'm on as Bob Worley, uh, whoops, it was already there, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you can see that right up here it says, we can't wait for Saturday's big day. And this could have photos. This could have additional info. But check this out. If I click this link. If any one of my fans or followers click it, they're going to come to the Main Street Small Biz Fair. And it all will be customized to you as you've created that beautiful looking page. Same idea even with Twitter. If I now go to find Bob Worley and I look on, did I assign it to Bob Worley? Uh, now I can't remember. But if I go to see Bob Worley's tweets, who is protected from Bob Worley. I'm not sure. Anyway, you get the idea. So the point is, it'll be there on those sites and anyone who has selected those. So keep an eye out for that because it's a fun uh, way for you to see and, and, and get live action and see it happen and post it right to Facebook. And that's all the part of social. And remember, we're also always adding tools to do things like track this content. So how many people see your Facebook post and how many link to your Facebook post. And that's really our, our overall overview of New Panda's social tools.